Hello, I'm Jamie Dobson. Welcome to financialagile.com's introduction to the triangle example. If you've managed to get this far, I hope you've enjoyed reading the article, hopefully you've learned something, and maybe you're at a point where you want to look at the source code we developed, look how the tests are constructed, and look how everything hangs together. If that's the case, once you've imported the, the source code into your IDE, and this IDE, as you can see, is Eclipse, you may, you may prefer to use a different IDE, or in fact, you may use a text editor and the command prompt for editing and compiling your source code. As you can see, there's a lot of uh, auxiliary test classes, five of them in total, to only the one uh, triangle class here. So that's an important ratio to remember. One way or the other, your tests or your, your system will be tested thoroughly. The question is how to do that most effectively. Of course, manual testing, system testing, customer and beta testing are all essential parts of the quality landscape. But if you've got those things in place in your team or in your organisation, that doesn't excuse you from writing solid unit tests. Because unit tests are actually comparatively cheap to write, and once you get in the habit of doing them, actually, you can see, or once you become quick, writing the code is actually the test code becomes sort of second nature. It doesn't take as much time as you might originally think. Okay, so you've managed to import the code. The next thing you want to do is run the test. So in Eclipse, that's very simple. You right click here on the triangle to get the menu and all the way down at the bottom or close to the bottom, you can see there is a run as uh, menu option. So what we're going to do is launch Eclipse's JUnit runner, and that's simply going to go through the project, finding everything that's a unit test, and it's going to execute them. Unfortunately, we have a bit of a problem. Two of the tests are failing. And what the, the reason why these tests are failing, well, what we can do is we can have a quick look at the error message. Java.line.assertion error. This is an invalid combination of input data and then the tests or the message is asking us a question. Did you pass the EA flag to the virtual machine? Did you pass the enable assertions flag to the virtual machine? Well, no, actually, I didn't. I just ran these projects uh, uh, with the right click menu without configuring the runtime at all. So now let's have a look up here. Here there is the, the run method. If I hit that again, it will run the last, uh, the last thing I did, which was, of course, the whole suite. So let's have a look. We can look in the drop down menu and we can find run configurations. Let me open that now. So here you see the project uh, or the, the test name, triangle, and you see the option run all test in the selected project package or source folder. Well, that's correct. We do indeed want to run all the tests in the triangle project. If we look up here, there are a number of tabs, arguments, class path, runtime, source, environment, common. The only thing we're interested in today, or to get this test suite running, is the arguments method. So here there are program arguments. These are the arguments you can pass to any main method within your system. As a matter of fact, there isn't a main method in my system. Or there is the virtual machine arguments. These are the arguments that Jamma's virtual machine accepts before it executes. So very simply, we add the minus sign, EA for enable assertions, I press apply, I press run, and all those tests are now passing. So that is how you enable assertions in Eclipse in order to get the triangle running. 